Wednesday, the 21st of August, 2024, of the 20th week in Ordinary Time, is the Memorial of St. Pius X, Pope. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everything, according to the love and inclination which you have, cleaves to you more or less. If your love be pure, simple, and well-ordered, you shall not be in captivity to anything. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit, that I may serve you joyfully and serve my neighbor willingly with a generous heart, not looking for how much I can get, but rather looking for how much I can give. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Saint Pius X Born in 1835 in the village of Rees, Italy, to a seamstress mother and cobbler father, Giuseppe Sarto spent most of his priestly life ministering to the people in and around Venice. As a pastor, he gave to the poor from his own modest household. As Bishop of Mantua and then Patriarch of Venice, he reformed lax seminaries yet still found time to teach catechism to the children. Elected Pope Pius X in 1903, he led the church with forthright teaching on the importance of catechesis, Catholic action, and the errors of modernism. I was born poor. I lived poor. I die poor, was his final testament. He died in 1914. The Epistle I will save my sheep that they may no longer be food for their mouths. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 1. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. In these words, prophesy to them, to the shepherds. Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who have been pasturing themselves. Should not shepherds rather pasture sheep? You have fed off their milk, worn their wool, and slaughtered their fatlings, but the sheep you have not pastured. You did not strengthen the weak, nor heal the sick, nor bind up the injured. You did not bring back the strayed, nor seek the lost, but you lorded it over them harshly and brutally. So they were scattered for the lack of a shepherd, and became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered, and wandered over all the mountains and high hills. My sheep were scattered over the whole earth, with no one to look after them or to search for them. Therefore, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, 
because my sheep have been given over to pillage, and because my sheep have become food for every wild beast, for lack of a shepherd, because my shepherds did not look after my sheep, but pastured themselves and did not pasture my sheep. Because of this, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, I swear I am coming against these shepherds. I will claim my sheep from them and put a stop to their shepherding my sheep so that they may no longer pasture themselves. I will save my sheep that they may no longer be food for their mouths. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 23 Responsorial verse The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel. Are you envious because I am generous? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 20, verse 1. Jesus told his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and he said to them, You too, go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off and he went out again around noon and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? 
They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation With no one to look after them or to search for them. Eli Weasel, the famed activist and Holocaust survivor, once said, The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. We still saw this kind of indifference every day during his captivity, as Nazi soldiers treated their prisoners as numbers, as units awaiting extermination. By contrast, to hate someone implies having feelings for that person, however negative. Just as Weasel devoted himself to awakening the world to injustice and suffering, so Ezekiel called the shepherds of Israel, the kings and rulers, to account for their injustices. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 2 their sin was not just plundering the people. It was their indifference to the people God had called them to care for. They ignored the needs of the poor and the sick and the lost. Their failure to love and the absence of any sign of concern for their people manifested the exact opposite of the kind of love God was calling them to. It can be tempting to dismiss Ezekiel's condemnation, thinking it's intended for a different audience. After all, not many of us would consider ourselves equivalent to the shepherds the prophets confronted in his day. But then again, maybe we are. Each of us is a shepherd because Jesus has called us to love our neighbor as ourselves. And he has made it clear that we are all neighbors to one another. Luke chapter 10 verse 29 at each Mass, we ask God's forgiveness for what I have done and what I have failed to do. It's that failure 
that Ezekiel is calling our attention to. How often do we fail to care about someone's needs, especially if that person is poor or marginalized? Isn't that a form of indifference? So try something a little different today. At your next meal, pray for the people who made it possible, the ones who farmed your food, the ones who packaged and delivered it, and the ones who prepared it. Pray also for those who will go without a meal today. Acknowledge how you are connected to people you may never meet, your neighbors, near and far. As you do, the Lord will gradually turn your indifference to love that bears fruit in action. Jesus, teach me how to love all my neighbors. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.